What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your Android phone, which is right there, look like a honeycomb tablet. Uh, before this app was released on the market, you had to do all this hard work through a bunch of different launchers, through a bunch of different editing, and it really wasn't worth your time, and you still couldn't get a good some of the good functioning features of Honeycomb on the device. But now that this app is released free on the market, you do get those features and much more. Uh, this app is called Honeycomb Launcher. Go figure. Uh, it's free on the Android market, and it's not a perfect uh, like it's not a perfect replica of Honeycomb, but it's still in beta. But they decided to release it still, and it works pretty good for the most part, but uh, I already had, the first time I tried to film this video, I got a forest closed, and uh, I was just trying to edit a setting, and I don't know what happened there, but I'm going to redo it. So, first thing you'll notice is the Google search bar on the top, it's uh, default on every screen, of course you can click and hold it and drag it to the trash can down there, I'm just going to leave it, and then uh, got your app drawer, just by hitting apps, and usually that will be in the top right corner, but they decided to change it. It's probably just a lot easier to do that. Uh, you'll notice a little bit of lag right there too. Still in beta. Uh, the back button still works. It gives you a haptic feedback. Home button uh, takes you home, or if you're at home, it opens the app drawer. And then they actually got this feature really well. The multitasking feature. I don't think it's telling you. Oh whoa! What the heck did I just hit? Oh okay, so they changed it. Oh, okay. So whenever it's in a uh, portrait, apparently, if you hit the multitasking button, it's going to give you all the uh, the management of sound and uh, display and Wi-Fi and stuff, along with uh, browser and messaging and contacts. I did not know that. I've been using it in landscape, actually. So uh, let's turn into landscape to get more of the tablet feel. So right here, uh, you'll notice that the notification bar is not here. I really don't like that they took that out. I'd rather it not look so much like Honeycomb with the notification bar to make it look more like Honeycomb without it. Uh, the notifications on Honeycomb, of course, are different than on Android 2.2, so you kind of need the notification bar on anything other than Honeycomb. I really don't like that they took it out, but it, I mean, it's not perfect. I, I wouldn't recommend this as a default launcher, but uh, it's just to get your thoughts out there about in the future what it's going to be like. So right here, of course, it's going to uh, take you to the app drawer or home or back. And then the multitasking features right here. I don't know why it's different in uh, portrait. I mean, yeah, portrait rather. And it, right here, it's always showing the same apps. So it's not going to be showing the running apps. But it still looks really nice. It's going to show the apps that you're going to use most often. Like browser that it just opens. Uh browser, market, SMS, email, calendar, gallery, music, maps, and settings. Uh, it doesn't show you the true running apps just yet. I'm sure they're going to fix that in the future with the built-in task manager or something. Uh, and then, of course, you hit your app drawer right there. And then go down, go up. It doesn't give you the side-to-side -side scrolling like in Honeycomb, but they're gonna fix that in the future a bit too. I know I'm saying that a lot. As you can tell, it's uh, launcher is not perfect. Uh, right here, you can hit add, and it doesn't show the uh, nice panorama view of all your screens and stuff. It's just the default uh, Android thing. But they also add right here honeycomb wallpapers and launcher preferences. So let's go into launcher preferences, uh, honeycomb preferences, and this is where I got forced close. I clicked uh, enable hide notifications. I unchecked that. And after the force closed, it still didn't bring the notification bar back. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I gave it a shot, and it force closed. All these are checked, if you can't see. It might look unchecked to you, but they are all checked. Uh, Auto-rotate screen, wallpaper hack, change wallpaper, live wallpaper support, hide icon labels, enable desktop balance, enable hide notifications, and that's it. And then you just apply settings, but I did get a force close on that. Uh... And when you get home, you get the nice balance effect right here. Uh, let's see. Let's try a live wallpaper out and make sure it all works. Wallpapers. Live wallpaper. I'm going to choose blue C. And set it. 
and it does work as you can see works fine uh, actually doesn't slow down the launcher that I see at all oh, yeah it kinda slowed down the app drawer uh, alright guys that is honeycomb launcher uh, it's free on the android market I'll link it to you in the description and uh, it does look a lot like honeycomb it's not perfect it's still in beta it does need some work but if you want to try it out it's very like it's a lot of fun just to try out because uh, I don't have access to a honeycomb tablet I'm waiting till they get quad cores or something uh, but if you just want to try out what honeycomb might feel like a little bit it's a lot of fun it's a lot like honeycomb but a couple little things that I don't like is that they took off uh, the labels on the icons I always love the labels and they took off the notification bar kind of a necessity and all Android versions other than 3.0, 1.1, etc. Uh, you have to have it in 1.5, 1.6, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2 and on. You kind of need your notification bar. Uh, I'm sure they'll fix a lot of these little things through uh, user reviews in the market. So out of five stars, I'd give it a three and a half. Uh, it still needs some work. Still a little bit laggy, but uh, it's it's very usable. I'm just not liking it for myself as a default launcher since I do a lot of text messaging and uh, web browsing and stuff and it's just not what I want. I'm always in the app drawer. I don't like the lag. But if you just love honeycomb and you want the look on any phone, try this out right now. And uh, coupled with a uh, honeycomb lock screen that I showed in a different rev uh, video, it works amazingly to give your whole device the honeycomb look. Alright guys, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.